Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Learning. In this episode, I'm going to give like a little bit of demo of this um, one of my experimentations um, using animation nodes and Spreadshop add-on in Blender. Um, and also, I'm using a Python, a little bit of Python code. The, basically, the idea is to have some kind of face detections, kind of a way to uh, for Blender to kind of detect a face from a photograph and ideally this should also work for um, kind of like animated movies uh, like animation frames and it should detect any face and once it detects the face it should cover the face that's actually um, the whole idea um, I think it, sh it should generally pretty available and easy already I know that the fact that you can simply use a um, Python code um, using a module called uh, OpenCV is a computer vision kind of uh, model. Um, basically, you you're telling computer to quickly analyze a photo and then find uh, a face, a human face. Usually, it works for a human face like a frontal to the camera. It's actually very easy to detect, and then it should then kind of mark the face. And as you can see here, it's uh, around 90% kind of working. Uh, so there are a few faces that uh, it's not being detected, but everything else is pretty good. So since this is kind of pretty complex, I will have to have a couple of videos for this one. But this is, should be just like a demo of the tool. It's still kind of work in progress. I will try to make it better. I have two versions. This is the animation notes version. There's also the sphere shock version. With the Spreadshop version, I can generate mesh on the fly to cover the face or to do something else to the face. For this one, it's really just uh, to look at the face and then um, it understands which one is like a human face and then small or big face, you will get uh, this kind of cover. I'm using this uh, this thing, uh, the, la the Laughing Man, I think the Laughing Man sticker from Ghost in the Shell anime. Uh, just to cover the face. I think it's pretty fun. There's a few gotcha like uh, with a computer vision uh, module it What it gave us back is actually um, The position the, the the left upper left position of the of the face being detected. Let's say it's detecting this uh, human face, right? Face um, and what's this this program will give you is just uh, the position, this upper left position of the face, and then it doesn't give you the center. It gives you this uh, point position and also the the size of the square. If I'm not wrong, I can actually print it out somewhere. Uh, anyway, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I'm using what I'm using here is a. Uh, the OpenCV module. I'm using, this is a Python script. It's actually pretty simple. There is some kind of algorithm it is using, but it just gives you back um, that point position and then etc. So no matter if I have like 100 human face, I can just use it and it should give uh, me back all this data of the where the position of the face it is. And then I'm using animation nodes simply to just instance the it's a laughing man um, sticker and then place it where the face position is and then that's it it's very simple very basic uh, this this guy is doing the uh, the hard job this one and there's this offset thing it's actually related to uh, the frame of the image what I'm thinking is that the image uh, blender is reading um, sh uh, will have a number of some sort so here I have this, the photo is called migrant and the migrant have digit, the digit is four digit and then the offset should be added to, well, it's, it's all the final, uh, the file management thing. Anyway, let's find a, a photo. Um, I can use this Star Wars photo. Let's find a good Star Wars photo. Um, this guy, that's the new one, isn't it? New Star Wars. Star Wars is like 40 years old anniversary. I guess it's not. It's not a bad idea to use a new photo, I guess. Oh, that's a cosplay photos. Uh, let's find a good one. 
guess this one is good. I think. Okay, I quite like this. Star Wars Rogue, Rogue One. Okay, I can use this one. I guess. Hopefully it works. File. Oops. Save image as. This is quite a low res image. Hopefully it works. Rogue face. I'll give it a 001. This is just for the future. If I have like sequence of image, this should work. So rogue face, rogue face 001. Save in the, on the desktop. I'll go back to Blender. Um, there's a f yeah. The funny thing is about this guy is that we need to look at it from the bottom. If you look at it from the top, this is like upside down and stuff. So uh, we gotta fix that. But basically, um, again, all I need to do is change the the name. The image is gonna source for this uh, image detection. I think it was a JPEG, isn't it? Oh, well, oh, it's actually a PNG, so it should be a PNG. If I'm doing it everything correctly, if I make changes to the frame, it will detect the face. You can see the face one, two, three, four, five. From the photo, you see one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, maybe one face is missing, but everything else uh, pretty much already detected. And all I need to do is to change the image of the. Uh, that's funny thing. Looks like a National Geographic cover. File, import, image as plain. Let's get the Star Wars photos real quick. Rogue face and make it shadeless and that's pretty much it. So this is going to be the photo. I just scale it, place it in the 000. zero, zero. Here's the thing that that I that I haven't worked out yet. It's um, it's the scale of the image. Sometimes I need to scale it, um, and then also I need to rotate it in the y and the z axis, and then also now I need to go back to the bottom view. Scale this a little bit more. Uh, the z axis, okay. I need to put push it back a little bit, so it's displaying the whole image, and you can see Blender already detected the face. I just need to scale it. To match, see one one face is uh, failed. This one was not detected as a face, but everything else is detected, and I can just hide this using this a uh, laughing man. Okay, let's try again. One more thing, um, like a like a really a little bit more complex one. Uh, this one is if this is high res, I can detect it. Oh, okay, this one is pretty cool. This is another one from Rogue One. This is like the most diverse Star Wars movie, I guess. Whatever diverse mean. This is a Rogue Face X. Actually, Rogue Face B and 0001. JPEG, okay. Rogue Face B. I just need to rename it. Rogue Face B. 00 Rogue Face. Did I? Give a capital name. Ah. Oh well. This is JPEG anyway. And update it. Okay, it didn't fail. Uh, I think it's working. Yeah, it's working. See, I need just to change the image again. File, import. Image as planes, shadeless, okay, uh, road face B, import, scale it. See, this is the chore. This is a little bit of manual work that we, we need to do. But if the the framing is correct, um, if you have like, like a sequence of image, you know, like an animated movie, you want to cover the face of every actor, you can do this pretty easily. So now I believe it should detect all of the character, and it de it detects sometimes it detects uh, some part of the body as a face, but you can see this is actually working. Why this man is missing? Okay, sorry about this guy. You are not detected as a face. Why I don't know. 
there's a neater way to be able to tweak this, I guess. Um, a character without with a mask is not detected, of course. His legs being detected as a face. Maybe. Looks like a face. But anyway, that's the whole premise there. It's a, if you have like a photo of uh, like a yearly photo of you and your, all your friends, or you are like, you go out and shoot photos in the public and you don't you want to mask the face, you can use this way. Even uh, here, I'm using this laughing man sticker, of course, but in reality, you can simply blur the face automatically, for example. Um, yeah, I'll see, maybe in the next one, I'll try with sequence of image, but it's gonna take a while. But the thing is, this script will calculate it. It's kind of a, should be kind of smart enough to look at the image and then analyze it, find a face and then mark it. See, I, whenever I change the frame, it thinks for a few seconds and then it's done. So it's only take a few seconds. It should be pretty fast. So the ideally for every frames, um, there should be a way to bake all the data somewhere, you know, and then you have to, in the end, you just have the data. You don't need to do all the calculation again. And then you bring it to animation notes or spreadsheet, read back the data of all the position of the face in the video, and then you can just do anything with it. You know, put some masking. Uh, of course, this is not that, not super intelligent. It it detects and find the position of the face and then cover it with uh, something that's kind of up to scale to the face. But of course, it doesn't have have any information about the the positioning like where the face is looking at it's not like 3d it's not smart enough to f tell you that okay this is a uh, which actor maybe this is donnie and i don't know who this guy is anyway uh it's not that smart enough but there must be a script out there that allows you to detect a face and then tag it based on the some kind of data another data but maybe i think we'll get we should be getting there you know um Anyway, this is a good one, I think. You can use Blender to detect a face and then you really can uh, do something more about it. Okay? Hopefully you find this useful. Um, let me know what you think. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.